today's video is a get ready with me video with my friend Alyssa. You guys have met her in plenty of videos before because we do do some videos often and she's been my best friend since we were practically in the wound. So that's a little bit of information and um, so I just hope that you guys enjoy this video and I guess I will talk to you guys throughout the video because yeah. So I'm going to start out with my Aveeno Positively Radiant Moisturizer which I have been absolutely loving lately so I'm just going to put that all over my skin. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay Concealer in like the lightest color possible. It's really good. Yeah. I already did my hair previously to this and we both used a Connor 1 inch curling iron to do the curls in our hair. You curled your hair, right? Ish. Yeah. <laughs> so next I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline Age Rewind Concealer. This is what I've been using lately for underneath my eyes and I think that it really looks great because it brightens as well. So I'm just going to put that in a triangle. For the regular face concealer, I'm going to be using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, which I have been liking lately. I think I might have gotten the wrong color, though, because this is more yellow-toned, where my skin is more pinkish-toned, but that's alright, because it blends in really nicely. I use, for foundation, I use powder foundation, and I use the Studio Fix by MAC. It's really good, but mine is broken, so I need a new one. For powder recently, I've gone back to my Maybelline Fit Me Powder, which I have been using a lot lately. I'm in the color 125, which is probably the palest color that they have, because I am super pale, and I have definitely hit pan on this majorly, and I'm probably going to pick up a new powder today that I want to try, but, you know, using what I got now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows. So for my eyebrows, I'm just using the color that I've been using lately, which is from the Too Faced Jingle All The White Palette. It is the color right here. I don't believe that these have names. I mean, I can check for you, but I don't think that they have names. Right, they don't. So it's just a light brown color that suits my eyebrows really well. Next, I just use this Estee Lauder. It's like a crayon pencil, and it's black. And... I just use it to like tight line my eye because I don't really put it on the inside my waterline. I just do the top waterline. So, yeah. So, for eyes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Color Tattoo in the color Inked in Pink, I believe this is. I can't find the name. Inked in Pink. And it's just a nice pinky toned color that I really love. So, I'm just going to put that on my lids and not on my brow bone at all. You don't want to put this on your brow bone. Okay, the next thing I'm going to use is. This is L'Oreal, and it's just a liquid liner, and it comes with like a brush actually on the tip. It's really easy to control. I'm horrible at like putting on any eyeliner evenly. So. Okay. Something else that I'm using is um, a CoverGirl really small liquid liner. It's a felt tip pen, and um... You should use this like before you're putting on a liquid liner like this, like with a brush. And I use it because sometimes it's hard to like get the lines even when you're using a brush. So if you do the felt tip, you can outline it and then fill it in with the liquid brush. So yeah. I'm going to go ahead and use my Naked 3 palette and I'm going to be using the color burnout for my all over lid color so burnout is the color right here no that's not that's not burnout it's this color right here and it's just a nice shimmery ish color that just really i like and it just is a nice lid color so i'm just gonna put that on my lids in my crease, I'm going to go ahead and take the color Nooner, which I always use, and it's just a great color. It's just a mauve tones color right here, and I really like it, and I'm just going to go ahead and just put that into my crease. This is going to be my transition color because, although I love it as just a plain crease color, I wanted to put a darker color in my outer. V. As a blending color, to just blend out those two colors, I'm going to go ahead and use the color Limit, which is... That's the wrong color. This this color right here. It's just a lighter mauvey tones color. And I'm just going to blend those two colors out kind of messily. You don't want it to be extre extremely precise right now. And I'm just taking a clean blending brush and just 
going over that. To darken up my outer corner, I'm just going to take the color Mugshot, which is right here, and it's just a really nice color. It has, sort of has a grayish undertone to it, which I like, and I'm just going to put that into my outer V. And I'm also going to mix a little bit of factory in there as well, just to deepen it. Now I'm going to go ahead and go in and highlight. So for highlight, I'm just using the color Strange from this palette, which I absolutely adore. It is definitely by far my favorite highlight color. It's super pigmented and it just works beautifully. So I'm just going to highlight that and also blend out the edges of my eyeshadow because I don't want it to look crazy. And then I'm just also going to go ahead and put that on my inner corners as well. As for liner, I am going to be taking my Rummel Scandalized Waterproof Coal Liner and this is in the color brown. It's just a nice brown liner, and I've been really loving brown liners lately, so I'm just going to line my eyes with this. So as for mascara, I'm going to go ahead and use my Maybelline The Rocket, which is another new product that I've been trying out this month. It is in the color brownish black. I didn't want a full-on black mascara for a while, so I decided to go with this one, and I really do like it, so I'm just going to put that on my lashes. I use for mascara the Rummel Scandalize Mascara. It's like Flex or something. And for me, it's like so important to have no clump eyelashes. And like really, it just bothers me so much. So this really doesn't clump. The only problem that like people say is that it stays on overnight. So you have to wash your face really well, but you should wash your face really well. I think that's with every mascara. Right? Yeah. Because but even this does it. Like, this yeah. is waterproof and it's insane how much it stays on. But it's no big deal. It makes your eyelashes look really nice. Yeah. Next, I'm moving on to blush and I'm going to be using my Amazonian Clay Blush from Tarte. And this is in the color Exposed. This is another new product that I've been trying this month. So I've been trying quite a few new products this month. And I really do like this and I just think it's a really nice color. That adds a good flush to your cheeks and you really don't even need a lot of it at all because I've been using this a ton lately and I've barely even, I haven't even made a dent. Like this looks like a brand new product and it's insane. Next I'm going to go ahead and use just a lip balm and I'm only going to use a little bit of this because I have my lip color that I'm going to put on right after. This is the Smith's. Strawberry lip balm from Sephora. It just looks like this. I really like this and a little bit goes a long way. So This thing was like Seven bucks I think and it is absolutely huge and lasts you so long So I'm going to go ahead and let that set for a little while while she does like her other stuff I just blotted it a little bit onto a piece of tissue and that just allows it to sink in a little bit more as well I'm for eyeshadow. I'm using this It's from like Target. It's an e.l.f. eyeshadow duo and it's like two light browns and so I use the darker brown for my crease and then the lighter one I just put on my whole entire eyelid. So as for lips, now that that's set in a little bit and I can feel that it's dried and stuff, I'm going to go ahead and use my Rebel Kate Moss lipstick in the color 09. You guys know that I absolutely love these and they are the best lipsticks from the drugstore to be honest, according to me. Uh, so, I'm. this is a really red color, and I don't want it to be this super red, so I'm just going to dot it on my lips, and then just sort of rub it in, and it'll just be like, sort of like a stain, because this is the lasting finish line, and I really love it, so I'm just going to dot this on. And then just over top of that, just to add a little bit of something else, I'm just going to use my NYX lip gloss in the color Sugar Pie, I believe this is. Yeah, it's sugar pie. And it's just a nude gloss and I like it, so. For lipstick, I'm borrowing Alex's lipstick from Rimmel. It's the same kind she was using before except in the shade 1. Zero one. So these are our completed looks. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and also subscribe for more videos. 
And I will talk to you guys in my next video, which hopefully should be soon and on schedule. We'll see about that because of testing. But yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys in my next one. Bye! Bye. Why do you have a shot glass that says 16? No, it's a candle holder. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> sure. It's from my cousin's sweet 16 like five years ago. Yeah, uh huh. I don't believe that for a second. I'm getting turned up for 16. Uh huh. <laughs> I look white because of the light. <laughs> mm -hmm.